Happy Sunday to everybody. I'm pretty sure it's the, <laughs> sure, sure. I'm pretty sure it's the 21st of May. I have my coffee. I got the Mickey one that I've shown you a few times. Um, how are you doing on this Sunday? Day of rest, as they say. Um, if you go to church, we did do church and I still do from time to time go to church. Um, I think it's a good thing. Church is a good community and to sort of see how everyone's doing, see what they're going through in their life, prayer, that sort of thing. Asking for prayer, praying for other people. I think that's really good. As I get older, I see it as really, really good, really um, heartfelt or just wholesome, you know, good message. Um, if they can apply it to uh, their lives, or if they can apply it to everyone's lives, or they have sort of like something they dealt with and they talk about it, like the preacher. Um, I've had a lot of great um, pastors, as we called them. Dave McDowell, was uh, he passed away, I think, two years ago, but you can look up his stuff on YouTube. Really, really great stuff. So if you're not going out to church uh, today or going to a church, um, look him up, Dave McDowell. Um, I think it was 2021 that he passed away. So yeah, I do miss him for sure. So leave it in the comments what you're up to today. I'm going to edit this vlog. I did do, I put up two yesterday. We did a live and then I've been doing a lot of shorts. So be sure to check those out. I also, yeah, yesterday, and it rained, and I did some DoorDash yesterday. It poured yesterday, um, but I wasn't subbing. I sub tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so I'll, those will be early, early mornings. Right now it's about 7.22, um, and I did do a course. A free course will be available on Udemy, all about your chakra energies and things like that, so I'll link that when that is up. I tried to put a link to Zip slim which i take every morning and they said no so i just said please contact me if you want to order zip slim i'm like is that okay i can't put a link but i think that's okay right so last night i drew this live blue i do this uh wheel generator and it tells me who to draw so you got blue this was a pen sketch and then i did kind of like see some of the shading so i did add i did add some shading into it so you got Baloo. Let me know in the comments who you want me to draw. We'll try to do another live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Baloo is from Jungle Book, uh, which was the last film that Walt Disney oversaw before he passed. I don't think he saw the finished product, to be honest. Um, so yeah, sad. Um, anyways... So I drew blue, and then he was also in Tailspin as the pilot. I don't think he was a good pilot, though. <laughs> so, uh, if you remember those shows, that's me from the 90s. That's a little throwback to that. So I'm going to put this in the vlog because I did make a short about this, the Batman short. And when I was subbing the other day, I went over to a group of students and I said, Does anybody know who Michael Keaton is? And one of the students looked at me and he said what grade so i don't know these kids were high school kids and they didn't know and they didn't know michael keaton batman beetlejuice all amazing roles mr mom so he's done so much and now he's going to be batman again in the flash so we got to educate our youth about who these actors are um, yeah, I grew up with Michael Keaton. Ni 1989, I did show you the Batman back there. So I was huge into it. It was like the first like cinematic film, and it is still dark. Like, go watch it today, and it's dark. It really is dark. That and Batman Returns, two dark, very dark films. And so that's why the third one, they changed it to more campy, more comic booky, more... I don't know. It just wasn't good. And that's why um, Michael Keaton didn't sign on for the third one. But now this is sort of like his return in The Flash. So let me know if you're excited for The Flash. 
with Michael Key. I'm I'm actually really excited to see him put the bat suit back on. Um, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. He says that in this, but it's in a different. Um, <laughs> he's talking about something else, but um, yeah, check out the Flash coming soon. I just start showing you stuff. My uh, girlfriend Princess Kimby, she has a channel on TikTok. Just search Princess Kimby, K-I-M-B-Y. She gifted me this pen. Um, it's cool. It's got the Mickey. It's like a 50th. It's got all the characters on it. It's hard to see because I am. Let's see if I can focus this quickly to back focus me. It's got all the characters and then you can click it down and you get different colors and then all you do is twist it and the, the pen goes back up. So you can kind of select which color you want and press down that color and then you get that color and then all you do is twist it. So it's got all the characters on it for the 50th. Um, I love this pen. I've been writing with this pen more recently and it's got Mickey up there. Um, 50th is no longer. So they for the 50th anniversary of um, Disney, they because it was 1971, so then 2021, they converted the castle, all 50th things. So maybe we can start showing some pictures of, of everything if you guys didn't experience it. And Mickey, all the characters had these different outfits, blue and gold and things like that. And then they sold a lot of merch. Like this hat, I think, came out of the 50th. It's got like a gold emblem, so Kimby got me this as well. And um, no, it was fun. It was good. Uh, I thought it was good. Some people said it didn't do very well, but they pushed a lot of merchandise at you. So that's why I think people didn't really love it so much. They did these gold statues and they gave you these little um, uh, bands to get into the park. And then when you waved over your, your um, magic band to the different characters, different music would come on. There were 50 different characters throughout the parks. Um, maybe we can show that as well. And now they're celebrating the 100th. Hundredth. So the castle did have a big 50th emblem on it. It kind of was like overdone, I thought. I kind of like that they're bringing it back to the original castle now. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm just explaining this for people who didn't get to go. It went on for like 18 months, but it was really to get people to go to Disney and celebrate the 50th. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun. We went a lot of times and we experienced the 50th and now they're working on the 100th uh, of Disney because it's been a hundred years of the business. I always think that if you can get some sort of merch uh, that reminds you of the 50th like oh yeah we were there at that time and that's kind of what it is when you go you want to get a little something nothing like crazy big because you can get crazy with it and when I started going back in 2013 I would buy statues I'll have to show you those at some point um, and those are cool uh, but now I don't really buy a lot because I don't really have a lot of room I like a little something is cute to bring back but when we were there we were going all the time it's like you saw the same stuff all the time so it's like I like a mug like I have a 50th mug and different things like that shirts shirts kind of get faded I do like shirts but some of the shirts that I got I have this um, shirt that I'll wear on the stream one time. That is a reminder of when I went 15 years when I was younger. My mom and my dad took uh, us, I'm the youngest of four, so they took me and all of us to Disney and it was 15 years. So 1971, it would be 1986 and I was born in 82. So 15 years, I got this blue shirt that's really cool that says 15. So that's like the I think it's called the Vintage Collection or Nostalgia Collection or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we did we did go then, and then I found this shirt at the Character Warehouse, which is like a discount um, outlet for all the, the stuff that doesn't sell at Disney. They move it there, and then they discount it, and then people buy it all up and go crazy, <laughs> go crazy with it. But I bought that shirt there. I'll show you at one point on here. You've probably seen it in some of my TikToks and stuff. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling. I did show you some stuff. We're talking about some stuff. Um, let me know what character you want me to draw tonight or I'll do the randomizer if you want to tune in at 7 
and I'll start checking the chat on the YouTube. We're getting more versatile. We're like, oh, who's talking? Who's talking? Some people show up on Facebook and TikTok. It's been fun. So 7 Eastern is when I do my lives of drawing. I usually draw one character. I used to draw like three or six, two hours long. That's like way too long. So now I do about a half an hour. And then we get some content from he for here, uh, content for Facebook, and then content on TikTok. So if you're not following me on any of those, go follow me, JDraws Disney. I'm also on Instagram as well. Um, everything is in my link tree, so if you're looking to get the drink that I drink every morning, the Zip Slim, that is also in my link tree. My website, all my merch and stuff like that, the shirts, the different um, art that I've done, that's all there, jdrawsdisney.com. It should uh, link to my uh, photography website, Jason's Photography. So everything's all in like that bubble, right, of photography and art and things like that. I just do what I love. And then if people buy the stuff, that's cool. And it helps me out um, here for the channel. Even when you guys comment, I do love that. So someone commented yesterday about the art. So that was, that was a lot of fun too. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys um, tomorrow. Again, we're still waking up. It's 7.35, so we did this in about 13 minutes. But if I can do this every morning and chat with you guys, hopefully, you're guys, hopefully you guys are liking this and it helps you. Uh, leave it in the comments what you're doing today, how your health is doing, mental health, physical health, anything I can help with, um, I will write back. Anyway, so I hope you guys are great. Remember to smile today. Hopefully we can bring the sun out because it, it was raining yesterday and now it's overcast. So hopefully soon we'll get some nice rays and we can sit out there this afternoon. But today is sort of a chill day for me. I'm not going to do too much, maybe do some DoorDash, but I'm going to, um, like I said, my new course on Udemy will be available soon. I'll let you know probably by tomorrow. Um, that will be there. Chakras. It's about 20 minutes long. It's not super long. I'm going to be doing some more 30 minute uh, courses as well that are super quick, maybe 30 to an hour. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Again, Hakuna Matata means no worries. So whatever you're going through, let it go and better things will come to you. Talk to you soon. Peace.